they should be. You will want to make them bigger than they need to be. They look more realistic if you make them smaller. And I'll throw another roll, but maybe that's it. So that's what I'm going to try to do now. Okay, so just get some body shapes. There's going to be some that are yeah, sorry. some that are farther away, some that are closer, and I'm just going to try to dance them across the little space, something like that. Oh, cool. Okay, so that so that's cool. the basic idea for that one. not your main focus. Uh, main focus is going to be probably some light somewhere. So that would be what I, I would say these are not going to be in focus. And then to get a little motion, and these first ones are going to be rough. You, your legs are just going to be slick. And the rough paper helps. I paint on rough. I'm just putting some, some, it just helps with some movement. Yeah. And these are, I'm shaking, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go back. Round brush. Um, and when you kind of get you, I mean, I know these are all straight coming at you, coming at you. When you get more familiar with it, you can turn some, you can put some striding across, you can get an arm, you can put some person in, you can put some cute little dogs or, or whatever. Okay, now, so this, hopefully, is going to be a head. So these little guys are going to be really small. We'll just call them pinheads. Yep. Yep, that would be a good name. And would you just put that in the light flesh of color? And... Yeah, it does. It's very orange. He uses oh, right. cad orange, so... Oh, those are tiny things. They are. They're really small. And you know what? If, if you don't... You can always make it bigger. If you, if you think they're too small, you can always go bigger. And then another thing they do that I really think is cool is they take white and let's see, let's see if we can get it. And they will put this white for their shirt that is showing in the V of a blazer. It's really cool. So I like, and that was probably just a little too wet to be doing it right there. Not what white do you use for 
This one is titanium. Um, I don't like Chinese white very well. So, and I don't know if I even like that white very well. I have some white gouache if you want it. If and you want to try it. That might be better. And then what you just change up the colors. I have a really hard time changing up colors. So then you can leave a space and you've got a couple more little guys back here. And they shouldn't have the same, they're not matching. And then and I tend to make them too flat shouldered. If you look in the books, I mean that guy's got the rounded just shoulders. And while you're doing it, if you think of where your son might be coming, just so that you, it's a little more realistic if you have them um, with a dark side and a light side. And every now and then a happy accident will happen and you can get a really nice leg or a skirt or a... And then you have to have your cash shower. And you might have Doesn't look really good. Don't get too close. There's a ten-foot rule on the dog. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ten-foot rule on everything. Yes. I do. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Here too. And sometimes, if it's a woman, she might be packing a, a sack, or and that looks really rough. Art supplies. Art supplies would be yes. <laughs> oh, that guy needs a hug. And sometimes, I don't like plain orange, that cat orange on a head. I kind of like, I use clinacridone burnt orange a lot. So that might be something. And then uh, you can go, you can find a dark of some sort. I have a little hair or sometimes a 